the Municipal Innovation Grant, uh, we launched several years ago, practically at this, at this point about 10 years ago. And we can't, and we began the process of trying to find ways that the county could partner with towns, villages, and cities to leverage county money for improved uh, delivery of service, enhancement of service. And the relationship we have with towns, villages, and cities, uh, the supervisors and mayors, Republican and Dem Democrat, Northern Duchess, Southern Duchess, Eastern Duchess, uh, really is fundamentally uh, what makes Duchess County unique. Oftentimes, higher level of, levels of government don't necessarily show the respect uh, and the support for lower levels of government, despite the fact you're the, the innovators, you're the laboratories of, of experimentation, and ultimately, you deliver real results to real people every day. And so by leveraging uh, these resources, Dutchess County uh, is uh, trying to make a measurable investment. So this is the first time uh, the county has directed county resources to assist uh, local fire and emergency response personnel through a competitive grant like this. Uh, this was the brainchild, if you will, of um, uh, the county legislature. I give uh, Chairman Greg Culver uh, most of the credit. Uh, we spent the last several years providing direct assistance uh, to towns, villages, and cities, uh, to local law enforcement, and we've recognized the value of making that investment, but we also know without question uh, the challenges facing uh, emergency uh, response, fire, rescue, have been continuously growing. I know the challenges that uh, volunteer and career fire departments face uh, every day. Over the course of the last two years, uh, certainly during the pandemic, those challenges mounted. Uh, we are thrilled to, to make this commitment to all of you, and I know that you're going to put it to work uh, for the citizens uh, and residents of Dutchess County. God bless you and stay safe.